an ice cube is going to do really well at maintaining its shape and form while it's still in the freezer. But you take it out into room temperature and that ice cube is going to melt. The planets are going to behave differently depending on which sign they're in. Every sign is ruled over by a particular planet. And if you're using modern astrology, some are even co-ruled by a planet as well. There are 12 signs, and each sign will correspond to one of the four elements, earth, air, fire, and water. And the elements themselves will relate to one of three particular qualities, cardinal, fixed, or mutable. Four elements times three qualities equals 12 signs. The houses. The houses are that area of life which these influences are going to affect and influence. There are 12 signs and there are also 12 houses. And each of the houses are also ruled over by a particular planet. So, once you know what all the planets, signs, and houses mean and correspond to, you're on your way to knowing basic astrology. The rest is just knowing where the planets are in relation to each other. The wheel itself, the chart itself, is a circle and therefore has 360 degrees. So that means that each sign has a 30 degrees. Certain angles of degrees in relation to the planets to each other will be considered harmonious and others will be considered disharmonious. The harmonious aspects include the sextile, which is 60 degrees which is a milder influence compared to the trine of 120 degrees. Now a rare grand trine of three planets in a perfect triangle is about the best you can get. The geometry has its importance 